fellas. Hey, how you been? All right. Today I want to talk about the the James Bond kits. Ravel's been putting out several here lately. Um, let's move this aside. My uh, the one I'm working on, not James Bond, but that's the one I'm working on right now. It's coming along pretty good. Not too much left on it from uh, Initial D. Okay. First of all, the uh, James Bond kits that um, that I have. I have the little Nelly. I've got the police car from Diamonds Are Forever. A while back, a couple years ago probably, I bought this one. I believe it's uh, for your eyes only. It's a yellow in the movie. And I thought, well, I paint that yellow and put it on the shelf. Nobody will know the difference. Um, well, now that Ravel has come out with a new yellow one from James Bond, I noticed that the headlights on that one are square, and these are round. The only difference is I saw. However, all the new James Bond kits are like $60 and $70. I'm not paying $70 for a kit just to get the square headlights. I don't know if I can 3D print something or, like I said, just paint it yellow and put it on my shelf. Nobody will ever know. <clears throat> I got uh, the sub Lotus Esprit then I have a couple of these I don't know who I don't know who made this kit but anyway it's oh, it this way I guess you can see it but we got this Moonraker kit and then I have the AMT Moonraker kit I believe this is 1-200 scale and uh, on this one, I don't know what scale this this one is, but it is a lot smaller. Let's see if I can show you here without dumping everything on the floor. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this is the AMT kit. So you can see it's much... AMT kit's much bigger. Okay. <clears throat> now, like I said, Ravel has come out with some new kits. They're very expensive. They're all in the, or most of them are the $60, $70 range. So, <clears throat> oh, come on, get in there. I had the AMT from Diamonds Are Forever, the Mustang. And I thought, and it was like $20, $28, something like that. And I thought, I am not spending $70 on the new Ravel one, even though it's probably a better kit. And then, <clears throat> I would search Mega Hobby every day, just to see if they come out with any new ones. And lo and behold, the new Ravel one was down to 26, 26 it, was, it was cheaper than the AMT one. So, of course, I had to have it when it comes down to 20 some dollars. That one's mine, and maybe I should just do a comparison sometime of the two, but this seems like a much nicer... Nicer kit. The other one was the Aston Martin. And I showed in my last video, I got a die cast for Christmas. The 20 is 124 scale. So I wasn't going to get the Aston Martin model because it was 70 some dollars. The last time I looked on Amazon, it was 90 some dollars. But my continuing um, searches on Mega Hobby, actually, my friend Kenny. Uh, found it before I did. Said, "Hey, Mega Hobby has the uh, Aston Martin for cheaper, down to thirty-seven dollars." Well, for thirty-seven, I had to get it. Not seventy-two. I'll give that other diecast one to my son or something. Now, here's the crazy thing: for the seventy-two or sixty-nine, whatever it is on Mega Hobby, you can still get that one too if you want to spend a fortune. I guess they got a bunch of you know, the higher price, and then they're trying to sell those off, and then they got some at the lower price, and they're trying to sell those. I blew up the picture and everything. I cannot see a difference. So anyway, if you're looking for this, Amazon still has them expensive. Amazon still has the Mustang for $70. But Mega Hobby has at least these two down to a reasonable price. So if you're looking for those, head over to Mega Hobby. Um, <clears throat> the other one I got... So now I have three Moonrakers, all three different sizes. This is 144 scale, so it's even bigger. Um, this one, however, does not come with the boosters. 
and, and tank. And uh, last but not least, the copter, I believe, was from Goldeneye. Yes, Goldeneye. The copter. And this one wasn't that expensive. Um, Moonraker, I believe, was 50 and I think this is in the $30-some range. So why some of those are 70 bucks? I have no idea. But I'm going to keep checking, and if uh, they drop down to the $25 to $30 range, then I'll scarf one. But otherwise, I'll just have to make do. Anyway, I hope they come out with some of the other cars. I'd love to have the Mustang convertible. Was it Thunderball, I think? And Anyway, you know there's lots of them. BMWs and other Aston Martins from the newer ones. Um, I'd like to eventually get them all, because that's just the way I am. Collect them. All right. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, oh, let me finish on a on a very, very big thank you, thank you, thank you. From my last video, all the uh, well wishes and, and prayers. My COVID's gone. Um, and also for my father, um, Dad, uh, I told you in the last one, he had fell and had a brain bleed, and, and we almost lost him last year. And I went over a couple times to visit and help out. But what I guess I failed to tell you was that he made a complete recovery. He's 85 and he's in better shape than me. You'd never know anything ever happened to him. He bowled in the 200s last week. I've never bowled in the 200s in my whole life. Anyway, he's doing very, very well. I thank you for your prayers and thoughts. But Dad's good. And uh, I'm good now too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. All right. I guess that's it for today. Just wanted to talk a little bond. And uh, I'll keep working on this uh, here. Hopefully, I should have this finished up this week. So, uh, it's the... Did I show you? I think I showed you. It's, your D, and it's a cartoon, so I'm not going to make it all super glossy or anything. Anyway, enough rambling. God bless y'all. Make it so.